boy guys i just finished loki season two uh from produced and made by marvel studios and disney as well now uh there's no secret uh if you can hear a little background noise that's me driving because i had to get i had to get my mind you know i had to put my thoughts on this uh season finale of, of season two of loki and just overall the whole season in general so this is going to be a non-spoiler because i don't want to spoil anything if you guys have not seen this just yet but loki has been um has been a real treat man i mean for all the garbage and everything that's been going on with marvel producing a lot of just lackluster especially tv shows uh, that had potential, like Moon Knight had potential, but just really didn't nail it at the end. And then uh, I can't even uh, miss Marvel, even though a fun actress, fun character, uh, just really didn't land the landing at the end of that as well. There's been so many series that Marvel has produced that just haven't really kind of killed it uh, throughout the whole thing. There would be little sprinkles of good stuff and then really bad stuff. And the dialogue is <laughs> horrendous. But with Loki, especially season one, it was one of the best Marvel produced shows, I would say, along with WandaVision. And boy, did season two really confirm that this is the best produced, written, directed, acted series that Disney has done with, uh, with Loki. Loki was Loki season two was awesome confusing at most points of the show i was a little confused with time travel is always confusing even though they kind of hit you over the head of what they their rules are when it comes to time travel and uh it, i guess it is simple if you think about it what what loki is doing throughout the whole series and what the main goal is throughout the whole series uh and it kind of takes a backseat of what kind of they tried to do in season one. Season one was a more cohesive, not as brain numbing, not brain numbing, but not as uh, technical with it, I guess, with uh, with the co uh, with the story. The story was just kind of more simpler, I guess. Uh, you could really understand it. This one had to make you, it made you think, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that the writers really kind of went out there with this uh story and if you love time travel and you love uh loki this is uh, this is definitely one for the books it really reminded me a lot of the movie edge of tomorrow when i got done with the whole series or a season uh with tom cruise and emily blunt that movie is amazing uh the graphic novel is awesome as well uh based on it and loki seems to take a page out of edge of tomorrow or uh what is it kill ready be kill kill something like that um so this was this was amazing man this was the the acting was awesome uh owen wilson as uh, uh was a mobius killed it again i love the dynamic he has with loki with tom hiddleston's loki so good very very good now if you're looking for some romance with the sylvie and loki thing and how weird that is there's not all there's not really any of it in this season and that's okay that is okay i think season one it did its purpose with sylvie and loki and establishing a connection there and there's still a connection in this season and i think they did a good job with those two characters uh moving forward to kind of like have them do something a little different in this season uh understanding sylvie's feelings but yet you're kind of like uh, for me i was a little torn of what you know the aftermath of uh her killing he who remains and uh her kind of side of things like you get it but then you're like you, you love loki so much you anything that loki's gonna say you're kind of on board with what he's saying instead of, instead of sylvie uh, a lot of the the side characters from season one gets a lot more to play in this season i think they did a great job i don't think it was overly amazing i think the side characters are fine but i think they did a great shot a great job in this season uh Renslayer, I think the weakest one is Renslayer for me. I just feel like she is. I know she's uh, she's definitely part of the story, but she's not as menacing. She's not as uh, memorable 
as a lot of the other characters in this series, uh, especially Mobius, especially Owen Wilson's character, uh, and then even uh, was Obius. <laughs> um, I forgot the actor's name, but the actor who was in um, Goonies. Was he in Goonies? Uh, Indiana Jones. Um, he just won the Oscar of uh, everything all at once amazing i think he would he def, uh, i think it, oh, obi i'm sorry obi the character obi obi was uh way more memorable than renslayer this series and another uh one that stole the show was miss minutes miss minutes definitely got more to play in here and i loved it i loved miss minutes in this in this season and in the, uh in the show i thought she was amazing um so so much to play with in this season so much uh it was a it was a series or it was a show a season that i looked forward to watching every week i would actually watch it when it premiered and it's been a while since i've done that for a marvel show especially a marvel movie at the time of this recording the marvels is out and i'm just like do i really need to watch this movie and the only reason i'm going to watch it is i'll be taking my son and it's just like a nice little father-son time uh, to watch a film, but the Marvels has been uh, the Marvel Marvel company has been losing a lot of interest from a lot of fans for these last couple years. Uh, just a lot of duds, a lot of really lazy kind of writing. But this writing on this Loki series, uh, complex, confusing at times, but the finale really brings it all kind of really hammers it all home at the end, and you understand the grand scale of everything they were setting up. I think the dialogue was absolutely awesome. I think um, the conversations that a lot of these characters had, uh, and then there was a lot of conversations. There's a lot of, of these characters, not only just, you know, one conversation between two characters, it was like all over the place, which I really appreciate. I like shows that do that, so you can get more invested in a lot of the characters. Um, the finale, though, man, the the humor in that really, really worked. Uh, I didn't think it was going to work, but as Loki started talking and the situation started to, uh, you kind of understood the situation, what was happening. Uh, dialogue really worked and humor, and I commend the writers on that. And man, this 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 is great. This was a great series. This is definitely the best produced Disney uh, Marvel show. We'll see what happens in these future shows. But Loki is top dog right now. And good for Tom Hiddleston, man. And I didn't think Loki as a character was going to get this big and get this massive of popularity. But he has. And he sustained it. That was the mo That's the most interesting thing is he sustained his popularity and his, um, really his presence. And I, by the time of this recording, I'm very, like, saddened that a lot of the top YouTuber channels like uh, Mr. Review, Mr. Reviews and um, I believe uh, Drunken Reviews, a lot of these guys who bash on Marvel, which I agree, I agree most of the time what they're saying because they're right on a lot of what Marvel is doing, but they don't praise a show. And I don't even know if they're going to, when they come out with a review on this, if they're going to actually really praise this show but it de it deserves to be praised, man. Yeah, is it flawed if you think about it? Is there things probably you could really uh, see that you could really kind of dissect and destroy and stuff, uh, uh, logical wise? Probably. But you know what? It's it it's it's amazing, man. It was such a good time. Sometimes entertainment, film, TV, you just got to have a good time. And I think this is a smartly written show. And I think they did a fantastic job with, uh, with all the elements to bring something special. And I think this is a very special series. So I hope that, you know, it, I just think it's funny that they, if you're going to bash, um, a show if you're gonna bash like you know a marvel show you need to give it credit where credit's due and i've seen them give credit like with the dc uh eu and stuff but it, i'm surprised that they haven't really covered episode by episode of the loki series so i just wanted to put that out there like these big time reviewers though they have my support you all they also kind of let me down of them not really talking about the series when this series is getting praised throughout the whole board of everybody and these guys need to kind of like, you know, address that whether they liked it or not. I mean, this is another I just would feel very, very sad. And if they didn't like this series, because I think the series is uh, absolutely amazing. I think it's a fantastic, well put series. So um, I, I mean, by the time it's recording, the Marvels is out. Uh, the movie game is still iffy for me, but 
And Loki season three does not look like it's going to happen just because of the narrative perspective of it. And I'm okay with that. If this doesn't get a season three, I'm absolutely okay with that. But if it does, it's going to be a very interesting one. And how are they going to come about, you know, what they're going to do after the events of this finale? But Loki is has changed the game, basically. He's changed the game for the better. And he's this this series is just fire, man. This series is just amazing. So if you have yet to see it, you should definitely start binging it. It's uh, now all the episodes are out and it's it's definitely worth your time. Uh, and I would have to say uh, Jonathan Majors to give us a quick shout out. Jonathan Majors, when he was he who remains in a season one, I didn't really care for his performance in this season. He does play another variant of himself. And I actually really did enjoy his uh, performance. I don't think Jonathan Majors is the most amazing actor like everybody is praising him to be. I do like his, uh, I think I loved him in Cree 3, but I think uh, he did a fantastic, I think he did a good job, a fantastic job. Uh, what he, I mean, it's a fantastic job because he always has, he has to play different personalities of the same person. So I think he did a fantastic job as uh, Victor Timely in this series. And um, so I think I liked him a lot more than I, in this season than last season but that's my thoughts on loki season two let me know what you guys thought of the season did you guys enjoy it or did you not like it is there flaws that you saw where it just kind of kept you out of it so let me know i'm dan man aka dan son like always please subscribe to the channel uh like the video and hit this uh bell 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 icon <laughs> and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time Bye bye